Man, that thing's a tight fit. Holy smokes. Just imagine if you could get that view on like a poster, maybe even a canvas. And welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. Today is going to be kind of like a little run around vlog. I got some stuff I got to do. I got to check out some food plots that I planted a couple weeks back. I got to go get the keys out of a locked truck from the lawn care truck. The lawn care truck is somehow is locked and I have to now go get the keys out of the truck because the keys are locked in the truck. Yeah, complicated and little, it's just the little stuff that can get really overwhelming and just kind of like frustrating. But anyways, we're not gonna let that get us down today because we are down to the last five days to enter to win this, actually, I take that, well, no, I don't take it back. Five days left, the last five days to enter to win this truck. And something that I forgot to mention in the videos, the past several videos, the past I think three or four videos you guys saw, is that starting June 29th, we started doubling the entries of every order placed on the store. So, for example, if you go to the store and you buy a hat that's $30, instead of getting two entries, you're now gonna get four. That's just an example, but of course, every $15 more you spend is obviously going to be two more entries you get. There's no really cap to that. Obviously, most people don't go crazy, but if you do spend more now, of course, every $15 increment gets you two instead of one. So it's a really nice perk. For a lot of the younger audience that's going back to school soon, we're college students, we got backpacks now, LMP backpacks, and they can hold up to 50 pounds and they're actually pretty sweet. You can also get canvases of this truck, the big dually, a whole, bu whole bunch of stuff, a bunch of new stuff, some limited edition stuff up on the store, some red, white, and blue stuff, some tanks, new t-shirts, hats, all sorts of stuff. Go check it out, every $15 is now two entries to win this beautiful 1997 Compound Turbo 12 valve Cummins. It always amazes me how dusty a vehicle could get in a tiny shop with really no open doors, no open windows, nothing, and a shop can get so filthy, and, uh, and a truck sitting in there can get so filthy. And for everybody asking about how I'm enjoying the married life, I absolutely love it. It's just feeling like you finally locked down that commitment to that one person. It's both of you working through everything together, working towards all your goals together. It's fully like a team working as one, not two individual people. Everybody looks at it differently and some people take it way more to heart and way more meaningful than other people. But like to me, it's like just the most satisfying feeling of like this is that one person that I'm going to share all this stuff with and we're gonna create a family together and a life together and it's just like I wouldn't want it any other way so it's been absolutely awesome we're gonna make a video on that coming up soon kind of like two weeks being married and sharing our thoughts on that if you guys had to pick between these two trucks you had your option between a brand new freaking 2019 or 1992 not with the rust but like in perfect condition which would it be and why leave those comments down below now real quick here's the uh, lawn chair truck I don't know how many of you guys have kept up with the videos to the point to where you guys know that I have a lawn care truck because I only mentioned it in like two videos but picked up this truck for four grand with 170,000 miles on it it's a 305 Chevy not a 350 but basically this truck is used to pull this new trailer I bought the one of the zero turns I have two that I bought however I keep one at Reagan and I's house and then I keep one on the trailer for the guy since we mostly have one guy running most days by himself so you've got the lawn mower push mowers leaf blowers, two of everything because I have it set up with enough equipment to basically run with two guys um, in case they have a busier day or a busier week. They have two, you know, two of everything so both guys can be busy. But anyways, all that aside, this truck, currently we have the key stuck inside. Somehow I went on my honeymoon with my beautiful wife Reagan and I get back and this first day I get back, I get a phone call. I'm just getting up in the morning. Hey, keys are locked in the truck can't get into it I'm like okay I'll deal with it later so here we are and what I'm essentially gonna try to do is pry this down they're just uh, manual rolling windows and I'm gonna use this to pry down as well kind of lay my arm across and pry those down and then shimmy this it's actually a gun cleaning rod and then shimmy it down there and I rubber band like crazy one of these um, cork board tool hooks on there so I can get it down in and just pop the lock up so it should be as easy as that, but we're about to find out. Found myself a handy dandy twisty tie. That might actually work. Check this out. That thing is tight on there. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Also got a hammer, which might be a bad idea, but if they can't use this truck, I'm already down an entire day. Okay, it's down in there. I think we got it. 
Here we go. Guys, maybe I'm in the wrong business. I don't know. Got that door unlocked, and all I did was I got this crowbar basically under the weather stripping. Got a little pry bar in the side, a little just this little tool to keep the extra little gap open and put the hook down through there, grab the lock and pull it right up. So I'm gonna open that a little bit, <laughs> let all my tools be relieved of their duty. And there we go. How to break into an OBS Chevy 101. Totally messing. Disclaimer. I'm not actually trying to teach people how to break into their truck. So we got that done. So I need to grab this fuel can, run it by the fuel station, run it back to our house because I got to get some mowing done at our house. So the real question I have for you regarding this truck right here. Okay, it's a very big question. Now once the tunes and deletes and all that stuff are available, obviously that's going to be getting done on this truck ASAP. But aside from that stuff, I want to ask you guys a real serious question. If I could lift this truck six inches like I did my Longhorn and put like 38s on it and keep the same wheels, I'd probably keep the same wheels and just go big with like 38s. Would that be a stupid idea or do you guys think that'd be pretty cool? And the reason I'm asking is because this truck would be freaking huge and honestly it would look really really bad. The only reason why I would consider not doing that is because I really wouldn't mind getting a gooseneck for the truck here at some point and a six inch lift on 38s would kind of kill that in terms of like the ease of use in terms of a trailer like that not to mention it wouldn't fit in our shop which would kind of suck if I could would you guys like to see that or just go bigger in general or not let me know down in the comment section below See, this is how married life is going for us. So, what we're about to talk about is how to scratch forces with a chair. And what you do, now I'm totally missing what I can do. <laughs> my sweet Reagan. Since the first moment I saw oh you on God. Instagram, okay, no, we're not gonna read our house right now. But in all seriousness, we are going to kind of, just kind of share our feelings. Not really feelings, I guess, but like, well, kind of. On like how, Married life has been for the first okay, yeah. we're 12, almost, we're 12 days. We've been married 12. Oh, ooh, that's right. I was gonna actually put the video title in my notes. I'm like, we should make a video called uh, 12 Days Married. Anyway, so we've been married now 12 days. How old are you, Raven? I'm She's 18. She's 18. I'm 19. Huge gap. Huge yeah. Sugar daddy. Yeah. Sugar married, daddy. I married him because he was older than me. Yeah, like way, like a whopping 10 months, but like at least. In this time, how have you felt? Like in terms of like the co the commitment, the decision, like you know what I mean. Twelve days married. Yeah. We're gonna ask a question. At eighteen, would you go back? No. 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 And why do you say that? Um. She's gonna say we're on the greatest things since sliced bread with butter on it. No, I would not go back because I just wanted somebody like commitment. I don't think anybody got that. Here it comes. And so I was like really struggling because I thought like nobody my age like understood like to me what it meant and the values and stuff that I had like they didn't line up or like they were so focused on living and being young and they didn't want to like settle down you know and then I found out like I was like okay. I'm also very driven, ambitious and like I've always been like a caretaker in terms of like my thought process has always been even from the time, I mean, it might sound crazy, you know, hearing me to a lot of you guys, but like, even since I was like a young teen, like I'm talking like 14, 15, like even maybe before that, like I was like, I cannot wait, like I want to work, I want to work my butt off and be able to, you know, get a business going and do this and that and like, cause I'm like, someday I want to take care of a family, like I want to have a wife and I want to have a family and like, I want that person that I'm looking for to be able to walk into a relationship with somebody that's already pushed hard enough to prepare for that moment even before it was there. And that's not like waiting until they find somebody to then get their act together. You know what I'm saying? So I've always been like looking forward to this moment. I just didn't know who it was gonna be and I got the best in the world. <laughs> we haven't like really like changed who we are. We still goof around with each other. Which has been weird because like we've had a house 
for right. months, which but we just we, we didn't which like Which is a lot of people like, you know, they make exceptions, which is just how people always are, it don't matter. Like, oh, no, you're pregnant because you're, that's why you're getting married. No, that's not the reason I'm getting married. If you had to ask me, would I go back? Absolutely not. I've never been so sure of something ever. And I'm one of those people that like when I commit to something, there's no going back. Like there's no hesitation. There's no second thoughts. Like even like when, you know, we were, I was walking down the aisle with my mom, like walking to the altar, like the entire day, all the time building up. Like I'd never have such, such a peace about something. And like, I never had even like a slight thought that was like, should I do this? Should I do this? It was always just like, this is it. You know what I mean? Like I've been, I've been waiting for this for so long and like this person, I'm not letting this go, you know what I mean? Like it's just one of those deals to where when I commit to something, it's just like, there's no question. And that's the way it should be. Like if you are considering being in a relationship or considering asking somebody to marry you or you know, whatever the case may be, you have to be certain of that. And it has to sit well here and here, but mostly here. Um, it can't just be like, oh, I think I'm ready and then just go marry the first person that wants to date you. Like that's not, that's, that's, right. you know what I mean? You have to like, live the life that, live how you would live if you were with that person already. You know what I'm saying? In terms of like being committed and like knowing that it's not just gonna be like, you're gonna find one person and it can just be any person and then it's just life is forever, happily ever after. Like it's, it's a lot more than that, but it's totally worth it. Yeah, I don't know if he's gonna share the vows or not with you. I haven't seen it since we shot it, so it might be a little, too much to share. Or Might be a little makeup, splash Yeah, it's there. kind of personal, um, but we had a moment that we, we agreed on that we wanted to just have like 10 minutes right after the ceremony just to go into a greenhouse and share our vows and just have a moment. And I think it was really nice because I think we both like come from a background of kind of just like, like emptiness basically from this hole that you like basically ignore, you know, and like, it's like hard to explain. Yeah, so we had a moment in the greenhouse and uh, lots and lots of tears because you just realize how good the Lord is, you know, when you actually find that person that deep down is just a really, really good person. And um, <laughs> stop it. There's a lot of good people, but the right person for right. you yeah. is completely different than a good person that's the right person for somebody else. I mean, the really sum it up basically is just like some people take a whole lifetime to find their true love, but the Lord always has different plans for you, so apparently I didn't have to wait that long. Yep. And so always have hope, don't give up. And faith. Also, make sure that if you're asking for something, you're living, I can't stress this enough, you're living as if you had it. You know what I'm saying? Like me. Why do why do I need to build a big business to support one person? Um, because someday I was gonna find more than just me and it was gonna be us and then soon to be like more than just us even. So it's like you almost have like you have to prepare not just financially but like mentally, spiritually, like everything for that moment before it even happens. Which telling you guys for, for a girl's perspective, that's way more attractive than any college degree you can buy. Yeah. High school dropout, baby. <laughs> I mean, like, I dropped out of school, but then I finished and graduated. It's still online, but just my If you haven't done so yet, enter to win this truck. Every $15 now gets you those entries, two entries. So if you guys like forces, you guys like pristine blue paint, you just like beautiful, perfect trucks, this is a really, really good one, and I don't think you want to miss out on your chance to take this one home. The American flag stays with us, but, yeah. um, yeah, it's a good truck. Enter while you can. Every $15 is two entries to win, and you guys are running out of time. It's either four or five days left, and she's gonna be gone. We have a lot of limited edition items on the store. We also have a bunch of new backpacks and shirts and hats and a bunch of stuff. Go check it out. Link in the description. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.